and welcome to Circle Time. So our friends are here. Good morning, good morning. How are you? Good morning, good morning. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. I hope you are too. I'm fine, I'm fine. Hope you are too. Well, Sue, today we are going to talk about letter Z. Z is for zigzag, lightning, and weather. But right now, I think it's time for us to do our class job. We've got to feed Fred. So you can sit back down, Sue, and we'll say hello to Fred. Hi, Fred the fish. Fred the fish has been going in and out of his fish school. Maybe he wants to learn today, too. I think we'll have to keep watching and see if he comes out. While we're waiting for Fred, we're going to turn around and do calendar time. The month is still February. February. Let's reach into our can and see how we will count. It says blink. So we're going to close and open our eyes. Let's blink as we count the numbers. Are you ready? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, and today is February 7th. Can you say that? February 7th. Good job. And if you go up to the top, you can see the day of the week starts with letter T. Letter T says T like a ticking clock. So what day is it today? Tuesday. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Well, it is time to check the weather, so look outside your window and see what your weather's like today. Maybe your weather is rainy or sunny or snowy. Did you check? Okay, when I do like this with my microphone, you can shout out your weather. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? It is. It is. It is. Today it is. It is out today. Well, let's dress Weather Bear. Weather Bear, I think you're going to need something warm today. Let's put on a warm shirt and a warm snowsuit and a coat and a hat. What is the season? The season is winter. Very good. The season is winter. Well, that was our calendar and weather time. And now it's time for letter of the day. Today's letter is Z. If your name has letter Z, stand up. If your name has letter Z, stand up. If your name has letter Z, if your name has letter Z, if your name has letter Z, stand up. Well, today Z is for zigzag, lightning, and all kinds of weather. So I decorated my letter Z with zigzags. I just used colorful markers and I went this way and that way and this way and that way. I made zigzag lines all over the letter Z. So what letter is this again? This is the letter Z. 
Now that we can recognize it, let's practice writing it. And I'll show you how. So to make the letter Z, first you need to make a straight line across your paper like this. A straight line. And then you need to slide down whee, to the bottom. And by the way, there's Fred. He came out to learn about letter Z, I guess. Okay, back to it. So slide down and then make a line that goes straight back. So straight, slide, and then straight back. I like to say zig, zag, zig when I'm practicing my letter Z. Now, if you want to, you can use a board like mine. You can use your own paper. You can sky write, or you can use handwriting paper like this. And parents can get this on my website. The link is below. So to make a letter Z, we make a line across the top, slide to the bottom, and a line back the other way. Zig, zag, zig. Zig, zag, zig. Zig, zag, zig. Zig, zag, zig. Straight, slide, straight. Zig, zag, zig. Zig, Zag, zig. Well, that was the big letter Z. And guess what? The little letter Z looks the same. It's just a little bit smaller. Zig, zag, zig. You want to practice? All right. If you're using handwriting paper, then the little Z belongs downstairs. So find the stairs, and that's the line where you need to put the little letter Z. Zig. Zag, zig, zig, zag, zig, zig, zag, zig. Let's make one more. Zig, zag, zig. Well, I want to cheer for you. I know that you are doing a great job on your handwriting. Yay! And here is a sticker for all your hard work. Well, now we know what letter Z looks like. We know how to write letter Z. So it's time to talk about the sound that Z makes. Letter Z makes this sound. Z, z, z. Can you try to make that sound? Z, z, z. It kind of sounds like a bumblebee. Z, z. Can you do that? Move your arms around. That's our hand motion for letter Z. Let's sing a little song to help that sound stick. What sound does letter Z make? Zzz, like a bumblebee and I'm going to catch a baby one. Zzz, that one. Do you want to catch a baby bumblebee too? What sound does Z make? Zzz, catch your baby bumblebee. I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. What does Z say? Z, 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 z. Ouch! He's tying me! Ow! Let's let him go, okay? Let's catch him again. This time we're going to let him go. What does Z say? Z, z, z. Got him! I'm... Letting go a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm letting go a baby bumblebee. What does letter Z say? Z, 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 z. There he goes. <laughs> well, now we know what letter Z sounds like. So the next thing we're going to do is make a zigzag painting for art. So let me show you what that looks like. So here is our art project for today. We made a zigzag painting. So let me tell you how to do it. So all you have to do is start with just a piece of paper and then in the middle of the piece of paper, put some tape, some pieces of tape so that they look like they're zigzagging, zigzagging across the page. Now, if you have painter's tape, painter's tape works 
really well because we want to be able to peel this off at the end. If you don't have painter's tape, you can use regular tape, but have a towel nearby and just put the tape a few times, maybe three times onto the towel so it picks up some of the fuzzies and then put it on the paper so that it's going to be not so sticky and easier to peel off at the end. So once I had my tape on my plain piece of paper in the middle, I just painted over the whole thing. Then I removed the tape and ta-da! I was left with this cool zigzag across the middle of the page. So that was our art project for today. And for science, we did something super cool. Take a look in this jar. I just have a jar with water and I squirted some shaving cream at the top. And then I just took an eyedropper and some colored blue water and I just squirted it on the top. So the white shaving cream is like the clouds. And what happens is the rain collects in the clouds and then it begins to fall down like rain from the clouds. That's cool. So we kind of made it rain in the jar. There it goes. It's falling down. Look at all the little raindrops coming down from the cloud. <laughs> that was really fun. Well, we also talked today about the water cycle. So let me share that with you. So this is the water cycle. Let me explain. So rain falls down to the earth and it gathers in puddles and streams and lakes and rivers and seas. Well, the sun heats up that water. And when the water is heated up, it changes. It changes into gas and it begins to float or rise up into the air. Well, when it gets up into the air, it's cooler up there. So that, that gas water cools down and turns back into water droplets. Those water droplets collect into clouds. And then when that cloud is heavy enough filled with water droplets, they fall back down to the earth as rain or snow or sleet. And then it starts all the way over again. The rain falls down, the sun heats it up, that gas goes up into the sky, cools down, and falls back down to the earth again. This is called the water cycle. And this is the way that God designed our earth. Isn't that amazing? Well, it is time for a little story. So if you'd like to hear a story, then stick around. We are going to hear a story called Franklin and the Thunderstorm. Franklin and the Thunderstorm. Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He could name the months of the year and all the seasons. He could read the thermometer and checked it often. But Franklin worried about the weather. He was afraid of storms. One day, Franklin was supposed to go play at Fox's house, but the sky was getting dark and the clouds thick. Maybe I shouldn't go, Franklin said to his mother. She looked out the window. It probably won't rain until later, Franklin. You have time to get to Fox's house. Franklin put on his boots and took the umbrella. As Franklin hurried to Fox's house, he kept looking at the sky. The clouds moved quickly and wind swirled dirt in the air. Franklin felt all jumpy inside. Fox was playing outside when Franklin arrived. Franklin pointed nervously to the sky. I, I think we should go inside, don't you? He asked. No, not yet, Fox grinned. I love watching the clouds move and feeling the wind blow. It's exciting. It's scary, said Franklin. Beaver, Snail, and Hawk came over to play too. The wind became stronger. Hawk flew loop-the-loops. Whee! he cried. Franklin held on to his hat and shivered. It was almost as dark as night when, fat, when big fat raindrops began to fall. We should go in, shouted Franklin. No, said Fox, follow me. They raced to the treehouse where it was dry. Fox, called his mother, time to come in. It's all right, Fox shouted back. We're in the treehouse. Fox's mother was there in a second. It's dangerous to be near a tree during a storm. I think you all should come in now. 
Everyone followed Fox's mother into the house. Franklin held on to Fox's mother all the way there. As soon as they got inside, lightning struck. Ah, lightning, shouted Franklin. Kaboom, thunder, he screamed next. It's okay, Franklin, said his friends. We're safe in here. But Franklin had crawled deep inside his shell. Fox's mother brought out treats, but still Franklin wouldn't come out. Franklin's friends begged him to play, but Franklin stayed put. Then, with a flash and a crash, the lights went out. Don't worry, said Fox's mother. She lit candles and turned on a flashlight. Won't you come out now, she asked Franklin. No, thank you, he mumbled. Don't be afraid, said Hawk. All that noise is just cloud giants playing drums in the sky. Franklin peeked out. Really? he asked. No, it's not, giggled Snail. That noise is made when giants go bowling. Franklin came out of his shell. But what about the lightning? That's easy, said Hawk. The cloud giants are turning their lights on and off. Fox smiled. I think it's the giants swinging from the chandeliers. Franklin laughed. Giants, that's ridiculous, said Beaver. Mr. Owl says lightning is a big spark of electricity that travels from the sky to the ground. The spark is so hot, it makes the air around it pop. That's the sound of thunder. Amazing, said Franklin. Franklin felt a little better. He even played flashlight tag with his friends. Soon, there was hardly lightning. The thunder was a low rumble far away, and the rain had stopped. Then the lights came on. Storm's over, said Fox. Let's go outside and play. Look, said Franklin, a rainbow. I know why the storm is over, Franklin said. Those giants heard there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, and they've gone to find it. Everyone laughed. Even Beaver had to smile. The end. <laughs> well, that was a fun story. We know that God made the weather, and it's not giants bowling in the sky. He made beautiful weather so we can have rain for the plants and the trees and the flowers so that we can have snow to make it so exciting to live during the winter time here. And I think that even the thunder is and the lightning is beautiful and reminds us of what an amazing and powerful God he is. Well, I hope you had some fun today and we'll see you tomorrow for circle time. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.